Spade Master. Welcome to Tops 99. This is going to be my least favorite Pokemon. An update from Tops 1. The rule here is that I'm not including the characters from Tops 1, but not so I'm including is Andres. Yeah, I'm included here. <laughs> oh, oh no, and, by, and by including Andres, I don't mean including Andres on the least favorite Pokemon list. I'm including Andres in this video. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, ju I just realized the joke I was going to make, so I backed it off. <laughs> Hold on, isn't there another rule, too, like, only one set of starters, too, because I also made that as well? I am not doing that. I Well, granted, I took out the uh, the star most of the starters that you were supposed to be on this list, but um, I'm not making that rule. Well, I did, so... Alright. So... What's going to happen is you're going to say your number five, then I'm going to say mine, then back to you, then back to me. It's uh, Old Spice commercials here, and then we'll go to the end. Oh, I'm first. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I'll uh, speak with you. Okay, number five. I'm going to say something. I actually like Shellos and Gastrolin quite a bit, but, but I hate pink. So you would think, oh, you hate then... West Gastrolon. Wrong. I actually like the design of West Gastrolon. I know mine is pink. I don't know, I just like it. On the other side of Sino or any region where Shellos and Gastrolon are a thing. There's East Gastrolon and East Shellos, which are garbage. I just hate their design. It's just horrible. It, it's not higher in the list because Jealous and Gastrodon West pretty much makes, for, makes up for that, but... If you were to ask me, if you were to ask me, I'd say the reverse. Yeah, but I knew you would say that. <laughs> I, was, I think the East side has more, it's better designed than the West. Although granted, the West has points for being in the in Ruby Sapphire beta, so they're originally going to be the thing, but... I'll, I'll, get, I'll give them those points, but I'm not going to give them any, any higher. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to only give it number 5 just because, as I said, I like Gastrodon. The S East version, version, I mean. So... West version, right? Oh. Uh, oh, you... Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, East? I thought you said Weast. God damn it, go ahead and do, do yours. Okay, okay. Entirely the Whismer line. Huh. Oh, okay. I'll give you one thing. The freaking that, that that one tunnel you have to go from Vernon Turf to Rustboro. Uh, which is Rustor? Yeah, whatever it's called. That's what. That's how much I care about the that cave, that the little tunnel there. Cause all, cause all that Whismer. <laughs> well, at the very least, a good spot for EV twenty HP. Yeah, but I you think I didn't. I never started EV training until what? Gen what five? So, um, so back in back in original Ruby, I found them a nuisance. And mm. when I get when I get to freaking the Victory Row for ex, for Loudred, even more of a nuisance. And once I saw what I, what it evolved into, oh god, get this thing off of me! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's true. It is so ugly. It, it is so ugly. It is. It, like the, the whole concept of them just being bunch of noise. It's their wet. It's their twilight jokes here. Um, and I don't know. He's not in that great either. Sure, he gets trappy, which is always good with boom burst. But yeah, was, yeah, you get boom burst until until Genesis with Noivert was in. So yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool. it was way too late to the party for me to start liking it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So you're up. You pretty much say the same thing as Whismur. I have the same thing for Rogue and Rolla. Oh god. Freaking Rogue and Rolla is it pretty much is a rock. But I don't know what to describe it because It's like a little hole in its center. Yeah, and something worse appears in a lot of KZ Unova. And even worse, dirty. Oh my crap, I hate dirty in that thing because it is so annoying to deal with. 
freaking roll and roll up, taking every single hit because freaking sturdy. Um, I don't mind the other two points, Boldor or Gigalith, but ah, rock and roll, I just I know it's the crap out of me. Yeah, and, for me, and, same thing. But replace rock and roll with Boldor. <laughs> and also, I, some I'm not going to. Make at, le at least rock and roll can still be like easily defeated. Like, the thing is, Ruggero isn't that strong, but Boulder is more of a nuisance. It's like the Graveler of Gen 5, and I hate Graveler so much. Oh, Graveler is... ah, man. Yeah, I, I, I outright hate Graveler. I, I hate Graveler more than the Boulder line entirely. Mostly for the same reasons as what you're saying. Except that Graveler has been in a lot more games. And also, something about Rogue and Roll, uh, the name just suggests something. I'm not going to make Pikmin do it and add it in the video, and I'm pretty sure he won't. Super Fighting Robot! Behind the man! Fighting to save the world! That's not exactly what I had in mind. Uh, <laughs> Rogue Roll, you because, did, you, did you know. Did you really expect me to actually make an easy joke like that? <laughs> 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 I kind of see it. Okay, okay go okay. ahead. Let's go through your four. Okay, okay. Now, for four, I'm going to say this right now. Uh, for, for four, like, uh, whenever, you know my whole, like, starter pattern, right? You know, the pattern where, like, with, like the, the generation I pick almost entirely dictates what starter I get? So, pretty much the avatar cycle. Go ahead. My, so my avatar cycle was uh, was water, then grass, then fire, and water, grass, and fire. It ha it has not broken away from that trend. And as I said before, it's to the point that I knew it going in in Gen Five. So I knew that Gen I would like the fire star in Gen Six. And guess what? Fennekin happened. It's the most it's the most adorable fox thing I've ever seen. Except for yeah. except for like the, the the evolutions, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> But, um, the point is, like, the reason why I got this Avatar cycle was because I hated the crud out of all the Holy Starters aside from Torchic. <laughs> so, really? what? So what? that means that I hate the entire Trico, well, mostly, mostly, mostly freaking Sceptile, and I hate the entire Mudkit line, mostly Marsh Tomp. But, you but suck. that, but that's because back in freaking Gen 4, when I started using Swampert, I actually kind of liked it because it was cool because it has that, has that cool moves. So, so Swampert saved saved itself from this from this particular toss. But the but the entire Trico line I barely I don't ever use. So I'm still on the hate for that for for that thing. Well, you're not alone. I actually that's actually my least favorite line of the home starters, and I will hate you because I freaking love Mudkip and No, I mean, these, see, see, if, see, if my brother if my brother was in my room right now, he would totally get on me for hating Swampert too. So yeah, same but, here. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I actually started to like how to make a Swampert, which yeah. I actually wasn't that big of a fan because they prefer the design of Swampert now. But Mega Swampert is awesome. Yeah. So so yeah, the entire re see is. For every other generation, every single one, every single other one, like whenever I decide, let's say I pick a starter, and then whenever I go to a second version, pick a different starter, I usually have my choices. For example, um, spoilers: I recently was my third favorite Pokemon of all time, so I would, so I would, um, you know, whenever I, I sometimes pick Squirtle, I sometimes pick Bulbasaur. For uh, for uh, Johto, I would sometimes pick uh, Cyndaquil, because you know, like a lot, Kalos is also one of my favorite, my favorite fire types of all time. Gen yeah. four. Well, I always take Piplup, however, uh, I do like the, um, Turtwig line. Well, Guadal's kind of ugly, but I oh, do love Torterra. Oh, yeah, I agree completely. Oh, yeah, but, but I do love Torterra. Torterra is cool. Oh, Torterra's badass. It's yeah. my favorite starter, actually. Yeah, exactly. Torterra's awesome, and I will not, I will not, I will defend anyone who hates him. I will defend anyone who, 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 who loves him. Gen 5, however, was kind of, was kind of, uh, no, no, that's the case. In Gen when 5, there's, that. um, in Gen 5, I, my favorite, my favorite star is Snivy. I mean, I have a Snivy plush. Um, and I also do, like, the, um, the Oshawott line. Yep. So, the, the Oshawott line. Like, I, I think Duwat looks like a freaking, like, dual blade Jedi thing. The Jedi <laughs> Otter. It's awesome. And Samurai's and, and holding a freaking shell sword. Again, awesome. <laughs> I love swords. And Gen 6 was the most decisive, was, was, was hard to pick. Because I kind of do, like, everyone. Do, like, everyone in Gen 6. 
Except for, except for Quilladin, but I'm not including Quilladin in this list because, like, just being ugly isn't the only reason, shouldn't be the reason, should be on, the, on my list. I know so, that. I, so I'll see, I was originally going to put Quilladin so high up on my list for being the derp, like, the derpy middle ground between a cute Pokemon and a cool Pokemon. But then look behind me and see Ivysaur, and thinking, Quilladin makes Stage 1 Grass Stars a bad name. So, uh, so I'm not putting Quilladin. Because I respect for stage 1 grass starters. Yeah, obviously. But for Gen 3, that's not the case. For Gen 3, it has to be tortured because I just hate the other two lines. Hmm. Okay, whatever. I'm going to ignore your comments. You're up! Okay, so, my number 3. Ugh. Starting. Speaking of starters, now I have starting birds. You know, there's always Ooh, a this line. Be, this gonna be fun. It's going to be obvious, Victor. Uh, in Gen One, I consider both Biro and uh, Pidgeot starting birds, uh -huh. and I'm like them both. Mm -hmm. In Gen Two, it's not Tao. I love Natal. I, I love not Tao, especially considering it's useful for my like second playthrough ever. It's I love not Tao. Okay, in Gen Three, Swallow, which is man. Well, it got better. Yeah, but. It's Scrappy, freaky, scrappy, never quick attack, that thing is Oh, nasty. yeah, that that thing got better, so. Gen 4 is the Raptor, which is the most badass Th thing. Star ever. Raptor is amazing. Yeah, close combat, the Scooby original Brain I mean, Bird. I freaking, with... freaking bird that can punch with its wings. And it's like, it, it's, it's like its talons, its wings, and like the way it's, it's, it's shown in the anime, that thing just like, like, just like gangs up on you and just destroys you. And also the whole Reckless Brave Bird, which is like oh a my god. And oh also my god. Reckless Double Edge, which also hits electric types. Yeah, it's yeah, it having reckless will wreck your butt. Will wreck you ass. Ha ha ha. Okay, Gen 5 we have Unpheasant, which is man, I guess. To to be honest, I kinda like Unpheasant, but the problem is I can't really defend it very well. I wish it could it, it had I, wi the, uh, I wish it was yeah, I wish it was a special star raptor. However, the problem is that there aren't that many good normal type special moves. Or he had the same um, uh, Mega Pidgeot treatment, he had a special Mega. Yeah. So, what is left? Oh. Uh, oh. Okay, annoying. I completely understand why he's on your list. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Jolteon and Darkrai are my two least favorite Pokemon of all time, <laughs> surely some similar to that would 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 be on other people's hate lists. I'm going to throw a, a fun fact before describing um, talent play. Okay, go. Um, your star, your uh, rival, which is Serena slash Callum in the Kalos game. Interestingly enough, has a flex skin with Gale Wing. That's an interesting fact, he drops it for some reason. Speaking of Gale Wings, Gale Wings great bird and Gale Wings roost. Ugh, that thing is so annoying because you can only see Brave Bird and Brave Bird and Brave Bird. I have specifically Alucardia to counter that thing, literally, if you can counter. <laughs> To pretty much one shot it, and it has green speed that is higher priority than great priority great for, but ugh! Freaking tunnel flick, it goes to hell! Well, it's fire. <laughs> oh, no, no, fed against the fire type, so I think it'll handle itself pretty well there. Oh, then. Let's <laughs> go to. I don't know, uh. Thanatos Castle in the Uprising? I don't know, because it's a cold area? I don't know. Mm. C4 Cat? Uh, C4 Cat? Palace? I don't know. Anyway! Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll just throw a rock at it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the solution with Talonflame. Yeah, I just, okay, I, I just throw a rock at it. I'm done with Talonflame, go ahead. Okay, cool. My right, number three is Pineco. Okay. Okay, he, okay, okay, that, that, the thing is, like, when I, when I was thinking this list, my, my thought process is, 
which Pokemon can I not stand looking at before leaving or barfing? <laughs> and Pyko's one of them. <laughs> See, this, this, this is exactly the reason why Whisper Line is not, is not in the top three, <laughs> and the reason why I'm not including Quilladin, because as much as I hate his design, it doesn't make me barf. <laughs> and as much as, as much as I hate Sceptile, I'll admit people love Sceptile, and people want Sceptile for Smash Brothers, so I cannot complain. Uh, nah, I don't want Sceptile. Neither do I. Neither do I. But, um, but, like, people have reasons for it, which I have no reason. But, then again, Sleptoe does a big far from look at it. Um, Pyko, however, totally fits the bill. <laughs> like, uh, mm -hmm. mostly because it's just, like, freaking Pineco th Pinecone thing with a name that is basically what it is minus two letters. Uh, so pretty I mean, much granted, it evolves, granted, it evolves the fortress, and fortress is amazing. Although, it still gets one, kill, one, one shot by freaking Talonflame, but uh, then again, sturdy. Then again, sturdy. But um, uh, Pineco is just the thing that gets in the way of fortress. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, just like Quillen get, just gets in the way of freaking um, what's his name, uh, Chestnut. But uh, Pineco is just there to look ugly. Oh, and blow up. Oh, and same with me and Grotto. Grotto yeah. was pretty much crap. I don't know. Yeah. Just... Also, let's hope to start way too early. Way, way too early in this lifetime. Yeah, actually, something funny enough. I seen a playthrough of Hard Bowl that pretty much used a fine code for the sake of blowing up with this mail game. Oh, freaking. Okay. Anyway, go. Can I go to my number two. Yeah, go on. Okay, so I pretty much make myself restrict myself. I restrict myself to only use one starter line. Uh, however, I want to mention all the other I don't like. I agree with you. I hate the trickle line with a passion. It's horrible. I don't like it. Its design is terrible. I would always pick Machiav, no questions asked. Although in a bad in a random AA, I might pick Torchic. Torchic is not a bad starter. Okay. Next we have uh let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Gen 4 with pretty bit block. It's just same deal with actually with the uh Proki line. I hate the first few Pokemon. They're ter they look awful. It's just and although um Empoleon and Grenadia respectively are really badass and really good in their job, it's just the other two are not worth it. Just having to wait to level 36 to evolve them both and just deal with their ugly faces until then, ugh, so no. So it's just like Quilden, only you're in, yours is water starters. Yeah, although my, water is my favorite type, and for the most part I think water starters. However, they're not my least favorite. Oh boy. Epic line. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, those things are hideous. Yep. Three of them. Not to mention, it brings the, um, the running gag until Gen 6 of three fire, uh, firefighting types. Well, I'm gonna hate firefighting types since the second one showed up, so. Well, having, the Friday, third, having the third is just ridiculous. Yeah, in front of what I'm probably really good, like. It had the advantage over the other starters just for Skyping. Blaziken was alright, although Hoenn being 7.8 out of 10 too much water, it makes it too difficult to use. But, ugh, just epic. Ugh, I just hate epic, it's horrible. Then I hate, um, Pick Knight, and it's horrible too. And Freaky and more, although interestingly enough, it's one of the, one of the few Pokemon that can learn Scout. That's Interesting you get called Grass Knot in any fire movie it has the original three of starters and types. Except they're all that's they're all special and that thing is not special oriented. Oh so it's, can't, can't, so it can't even you said Skull the Grass Knot. He, I think it has a hundred special attack actually, so it's not completely horrible, but it's, it's still completely horrible. Oh but still freaking inboard. Although he has reckless um prayer blitz, uh wild charge and freaking head smash. Yeah, well, it does have like, like a good, co good uh, combination of abilities and attacks, 
the fact that it's not a thing. It's like I was these. He saw my thought, my thought process of how like a, good, a third fight firefight type would be. Like um, Infernape is like more of a like full on attacker, like physical attacker, special attacker, mixed attacker. That thing hits hits for all sides. And also really fast. Huh? And also really fast. Um. Blaziken, more or less same thing. It says, like, kind of, like, um, more balanced, I guess? And, and also a lot slower, too. Yeah, it's a lot slower, but... So, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot slower, but a lot more balanced, I guess. I would However, I And I would now... imagine, I would imagine, like, Emboar to be more of a bulkier firefighting type. While it does have a... While it does, while, while it does have a ton, a ton of HP, that just makes it a ton of lard. <laughs> yeah, and also, its other stats are crap. All the other defensive... All the other stats, aside from... Um, physical and special attack in HP are 65. Although I like the number. Yeah, like, like if it, uh, if it had at least like base 90 defense, special defense, I'll probably like, like justify using it. However, uh, the HP is just there for reckless. Yeah, it's just there for reckless. And, and he's going to die easily. And so. and doesn't, that doesn't help that freaking the hidden ability that didn't even exist until a bit later on Gen 5. Wait, no, wait, did the did those abilities even show up for Tepic? In Gen 5? I believe so, actually. Yeah, there is an event, like the 15th anniversary M War in Japan. Oh, oh in Japan, of course. Legal. Yeah, of course. It's legal because you can get them through GTS, so it is legal. Yeah, it is legal, but freaking Japanese, on Japanese only was still legal. That's annoying. But, uh, funny, like, uh, in VTOPS 1, I actually put, like, um, you know how Pig Knight was, like, in there before while doing the countdown? I oh, put yeah. it there specifically because I don't like to have uh, Pig Knight. But I didn't include in this list because I had like ten. Not to mention that since he knew I would I would mention him, he would he, Pikmin would have a chance to talk to him without putting him in his list. So there you go. I just don't. Well, some of the quill then. It's just like the, the the middle ground between something kind of cute and something kind of cool. However, all three of them to me are garbage. Yeah. And so, plus, plus, oh, plus, 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 I want if I want a sucky starter, I pick Snivy. <laughs> yeah, Snivy is actually at least good because spamming leads to on the contrary. Yeah. Very much going, going to town with that. Okay, uh, we already talked about Tepic too much. Alright. So, for Red Number 2, is, is like, take a po- So, remember what I just said? It's a Pokemon that makes me not want to look at it. Okay. And, um... You know how Pokemon like Dunsparce, how like it's completely useless, but it does have like a like a unique charm to it that like yeah. that, that like people like oh I want a Mega Dunsparce because like it's so useless but it kind of deserves some something you know, to make it better, right? Yeah, with Green Grays and Fire Punching to death. Not yeah. with Quillfish. Oh boy! Not with that thing. That thing has everything wrong with Dunsparce, minus the charm. Uh, I guess it is intimidate and also toxic size, but it's not that great. Yeah, the thing is, it ain't the... And, and unlike freaking Pineco, I had to use one because I call Sam. So, I hated that... I, like, with all, I hated Quillfish's design. It's like a puffer, a small puffer fish thing. Uh... Water poison type, they're a lot better water poison type than Quillfish. Yeah, even its wealth is better. It's, it's moves, it's, it's forgettable. Its entire design is forgettable. The fact, I don't know, I just, I just, I just find most Gen 2 Pokemon kind of forgettable. But, uh, uh, uh what am I going to say? And it has none of the charm Dead Sparse has. There you go. Hold on. You had, I remember three water types you already could use over Quillfish, like Waxire, Mantine, and Remoraid. Remory was under level as hell, but the same thing as Quillfish? Yeah, I think I need to have Quillfish in there too. Oh, you really need to have Quillfish? Okay, well, well, to beat the game, you need to at least use everyone. So. Oh, right, you have to purify them all. Oh, yeah, right, purify all, I have to use everyone. Oh, that was an absolute annoying to purify everything. Yes. I see, that's fair. Yeah, especially if I had to, had to purify something annoying as Quillfish. I was originally going to put Stantler too. Well, cause like, cause like, no, it was Stantler, like, a kind of a kind of a pain to train, also kind of a pain to catch, cause that thing, that thing hits hard and can, des can destroy me as, as a really weird catch rate. And oh, and plus, oh. plus, 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 it's almost as ugly as Quillfish. 
but... Well, it has a redeeming fact it does make Mortis Gym in both the original and the remake easy, so... Yeah, also, also has Gnosis, which makes it... which is really annoying to everyone who run into accidentally. And also Intimidate, so... Uh, also, also that he's annoying, that. but I hate Quillfish more. Because that thing makes me want to barf. Okay, that's pretty much it, right? Yep. Well, my number one... Funnily enough, you already mentioned it. I did? Yes, you did. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. This thing gives me nightmares. That should be your clue, Pikmin. Just say it. Oh my god. Uh, oh god, what did I just say? Is it freaking Stantler? Oh. Nightmares. Really? You couldn't think of Dark Oh, the Uber Noob. Oh my goodness, Dark Eye. You are so annoying ever, ever since your creation. I mean, freaking Dark Boy. God bless Magic Bounce because my Espion enjoys dealing with Bill Dark Ride, especially now with Dazzling Gleam. And thank uh, you, my freaking sock, for having Choice Spend freaking. Uh, like what? Choice Scarf in Close Combat, one of Chaos, I think. Oh, seriously, Dark Ride is the biggest pain in the ass ever. It's just. Simply, the first move we'll always do is freaking Dark Boy. There's no denying that. So. Mm -hmm. It's just. The same thing as Salon Flame, really. Spamming the same move, the same reliable move, and just annoying the crap out of you, it's just, ugh. And also the design is just, ugh, so, ugh, weird. I haven't seen the 10th movie, but apparently Dark Knight wasn't actually the bad guy, where Falcon yeah, yeah, Dark Yeah, that's the, the thing is, that's the one time ever where Dark was actually interesting. Because, <laughs> like, Dark Knight had a really good, had, was a, had a really good backstory in there. Uh, maybe I should watch that movie. Then I did watch the episode of the anime where Darkrai being Darkrai is yep. an absolute annoyance. Yep. And also, there's another thing with Darkrai. Oh yeah, Mystery Dungeon, because they needed to be the most evil guy ever. He just dethroned Dialga as the main villain. It's just... That is lame. Funny, go funny going from main hero to main villain on one gen. Oh, insane. Seriously, Darkrai? Go away. I don't care what your nightmares, I don't care you're so freaking broken, I go away, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Like for me, whenever I see Dark Cry, Jill the same thing. Whenever I see Dark Cry, my instinct goes from trying to figure out what strategy to use to Nope, I'm killing that thing first no matter what I do. Yeah, that's pretty much the strategy. It, yeah, it, 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 it's, literally, it's literally my ghost, ghost spam best moves alarm. Yeah, but at least I have Espion for me, so... Yep. Yeah, and I also have Dazzling Gleam, so I pretty much can take care of it easily, so... Yeah. So, go ahead, say your number one. Okay, so... Gen 4... I, I, got, I, I got a question for you, Gen 4. So, you may... So, you, so uh... Gen 4 started, and then you decided, hey, let's go make some evolutions to previous Pokémon. Cool! Oh, dear. Do you know where I'm going with this? Um... Don't say uh, it. No, don't say it, but really. do you know where I'm going with this? Well, sort of. Okay, so you get, um, Rhyperior. Rhyperior was cool. Like, it also, also later on gives, uh, Ride on the Evil Light, which makes him a monster. Um, you get, you get Rhyperior. Rhyperior was cool. Like, he's cool, he's so much stronger, it's that sort of thing. Yeah. You give Dustnor, same thing, but you made Dust Cost better because of it. Um, then you made, let's say, Tangrowth. Tangrowth's kind of weird. But um, at least I kind of appreciate it. You made um, Toad Kiss, which is amazing. Yeah, you that's gave, okay. and, um, and also the cutest thing ever. That too. Uh, you gave um, Electivire Magmortar, which kind of um, continues to fuel their rivalry towards each other back in Gen 1. Unless you're in the anime, which is like, like the one with Scyther, but that's, a, that's a, definitely kind of worms. <laughs> uh, Gallade, enough said. But what the frig is the deal with Licky Licky? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, speaking of the 10th movie, too. Oh, yeah, I forget. But it goes back to the 10th movie. <laughs> the freaking villain. Like, I've the seen Baron... the 10th movie several times. Heck, the top's intro has the 10th movie in it. So, 
I have to actually go back to the 10th movie, pick some stuff on it, put it in this, this very intro. The 10th movie, like, unlike Dark Ride in the 10th movie, freaking the dude who has Licky Lick in the 10th movie is a huge butthole. And not to mention that the, by the end, he turns into a freaking Licky Licky. <laughs> no, but that's hilarious. But, uh, <laughs> see, that's hilarious. But only because I hate Licky Licky so much that it's hilarious. But, um, yeah. I was originally going to put on this list Pokemon that, you know, Pokemon that, oh, this post should not be made. Like, why is there an ice cream Pokemon? Why is there a garbage Pokemon? Why why is Voltorb just a ball <laughs> with, yeah. like, eyes? Well, I also had the same like, some idea similar to Dos Dogs. Like, what yeah. the heck is that thing? Oh, that's like a really and poison also, ball. But, uh, Marvin, which is an inferior dancing in every way, shape, and form. Yeah. Sadly, that, see, that thing. Yeah, but but then again, being the fear very something so adorable like the Ansys, um, whatever. But it's not, uh, can you say the thing? And also, it's really annoying that it gets um, power gem on like freaking Yancy. Oh yeah, why the why why does not get power gem? But Karmic does. That's weird. And also, you in another talk you mentioned Wilmer, which uh, also is a pain to get to Waylor because the Reggie event. That too, but uh, but since I since I'm not including those things, I've already did a toss with them. But with Licky Licky, okay, why is this made? Like, I normally shouldn't put, put Pokemon like this. I should normally should not put Pokemon that, why is this Pokemon made? But I have to with this thing. Because, like, we get evolutions of previous Pokemon that are cool. And, however, we get evolutions of Pokemon that are not cool. Yeah. I mean, much. and also, also, Licky Licky... I don't know, maybe it's my, my personal bias, but I think Licky Licky just stole the position of an evolution from Jinx. Really? I don't... Well, then again, Jinx is the defense of a Caterpie, so what the heck I'm saying? No, because no, because the, the thing is, like, for, 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 for the longest time, it's been, like, I left the buzz as, as Electric, Magmar is Fire, and Jinx is Ice. That, that's, that's been since Gen 1. And Gen oh, yeah, 2, and Gen 2, each one of them got pre-evolutions. Oh, I think we're just going. And then, and then Gen 3 did, did nothing to them, so no, so I'll skip that. And then Gen 4 came in, and then both Electabuzz and Magmar got evolutions through similar methods. Jinx got, Jinx got squat. Uh, yeah. And, and then, since then, er, and since then, Jinx's been forgotten. It's a shame about Jinx at all. Yeah. Jinx, has, Jinx hasn't got a mega, a mega yet. And freaking, uh, Bayonet has a mega. And if Bayonet has a Mega to combat its its main rival's evolution. See, see the whole Mega Bayonet thing was was an was a cool idea because like since Dusclops got an evolution and Bayonet doesn't, so ba so Bayonet got something to compensate. Are there any needs? Yeah, Jinx did not. Oh, and and the reason because the reason because as much as I don't like Jinx in general, but Jinx might have a, has two favorite types. So I really want to I really want a Jinx <laughs> Mega Evolution or something. Or Jake's evolution, but no, they wasted they wasted it by not giving Jake's evolution back in Gen Four. So yeah. so no matter so no matter what they do, if they gave Jake's evolution back in, in Gen Seven or whatever, it was it was totally too late. That's what and I'm saying. And also something funny, and before it actually something good he had, it was the stronger user of Stab Explosion until Mega Glalie came to play. Oh yeah, freaking Mega Glalie. But then Explosion oh. got nerfed to heck, so. Yeah, I know, but still. Yeah, I... so yeah, so Licky Licky, the best thing you can do back in Gen 4 was blow up. Just like freaking Pineco. Oh. And does the Quill Fistle Explosion too? Oh, yeah, they don't There you go. Well. By the three, by three of these paper Pokemon might as well explode. <laughs> might as well just blow up and just, like, forget its existence. Oh, and you didn't mention even Oregon Z, which is amazing. No, I like Oregon Z, so I got, so I got nothing against it. And Frostlass, which. I, really I like love Frost. Like, this is my favorite, like, like the favorite ice out of the Articuno. So, and, and also the obvious nickname of Mia Fey because because dead. Go get go it. Go watch Phoenix Pine. Because and dead. Also, and lastly, Promo Pass, which uh, pretty much the same thing as Leaky Leaky, but yeah, I but guess Leaky Leaky yeah, but the thing is, I like, I got no opinion towards Pro uh, Pro Pass, so plus I got random Steel type, so that's kind of weird. Ah, yeah, and let's not mention more evolution, oh, or those evolutions, because then I would go all day on Lithium and how much I love it. There we go. So, yeah, I like Licky Licky because it's a really 
One, it looks stupid. Two, it looks derpy. Three, it makes me look makes me barf. I mean, and it's still it's still it's still another it's still an evolution from another Pokemon. I should just should have deserved it better. Stand in Farfetch, but Farfetch. Uh... Yeah, but what can you do with Farfetch at this point? So, <laughs> I mean, if Game Freak won't give Dunsparce Mega Evolution, why why did bother give it to Farfetch first? So, yeah, I'm still it. I'm still waiting Mega Substrika. So. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, All right, so I'm so well, I'm done. So it's pretty late now. So I'm yeah. done with this list. So Tazakon is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And yes, I'm clean guard on that list, but everyone knows that. But I'm having to really explain the why in like five years. So. And I guess you're going to explain it first, just like. Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm watch. gonna I'm gonna explain why I got my favorite Pokemon, but that's the next hops. Oh yeah, let let's not get ahead of us, ourselves. Okay. Yep. So anyway, see you guys later, and thanks and thanks for co-narrating me, even though it's like 11 p.m. my time, 12 a.m. your time at this point. Um, remember we don't use a daylight saving time. Well, oh yeah, mine's gonna be over soon. Okay. Alright, they say it's gonna be over soon later. But, uh, yeah, That's see you guys. Uh, too, too late, too long of a video. Anyways, see ya. Yeah.